Hi guys, my name is Ilya and in this video I would like to share with you my personal opinion about HP Spectre X360 laptop. I have been working on this machine for about 3 months and I believe I have a pretty decent understanding of its functionality. Keep watching and you're gonna find out if this machine is great for you. Let's go! I will start my review by showing what I got in the box with this laptop. A leather case, which I use a lot and find it very nice and useful. A touch screen pen. A charger. And of course, the convertible laptop. This high-end machine has a stylish look and my version is a dark ash brown color with golden logo on top of it. It also has faceted edges and since it's made out of aluminium, it feels very nice to touch it. It also light, it weighed only 1.3 kilograms or 2.8 pounds. HP 360 doesn't have many pores, but what it has are functional. On the right side, there is a micro SD card slot, then there is a webcam switcher, then there are two Thunderbolt 3 charging ports, and you can connect them to 4K monitors or video card, and then there is a headphone jack. On the left side, there is a regular USB port, which I personally find quite useful to connect my uh, laptop to a mouth or an external keyboard. Now let's open the laptop. Usually I unlock it by my fingerprint, but I have to say it doesn't work all of the time. Let's see this time. See? Okay, it worked. If it doesn't work, there are two other options, either to use a pin or a face recognition. Keyboard is firm and comfortable for fingers to type. Keys are big. There are three backlit options. Either maximum, medium, or none. From the sound perspective, HP 360 does great job. You can hear by yourself. Since this is a two-in-one machine, you can switch from a laptop mode to a tablet mode. Every time it's gonna ask you if you wanna switch, you say yes, and here, where's the pen, is useful. So far, I'm pretty satisfied with multitasking here. Pretty much all of the time, I have many programs open, such as video, PowerPoint presentation, WhatsApp, different folders, browser, email, and sometimes many other. And up to date, I have never experienced any crashes. However, a few weeks ago, I downloaded a driver for a printer from the internet. And since then, once in a while, my laptop freezes. Graphics. Well, this aspect is the most disappointing one. HP Spectre 360 has been great with watching movies, do some basic film editing and work with pictures. However, when it comes to work on a complex tasks such as professional movie editing or gaming, most of the programs just crash. Battery life. I got this laptop new, so on a full charge it lasts approximately 10 hours. Sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. But 10% battery usage per hour is a pretty good estimate. Touchscreen. In a laptop mode, I'm not fully satisfied with a touchscreen pen. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. However, when I switch it to a tablet mode, it works quite well and this position is very responsive and I never had any issues working with this. To sum up, and based on my experience, HP Spectre 360 is a beautifully designed 2-in-1 laptop, which helped me with a variety of office tasks. The machine is thin and pleasant to touch. It is light and easy to travel with. 
Its processor allows multitasking with ease. It has power speakers, possess a USB port, which is rare, and has a comfortable, firm keyboard with large keys. However, if you work now or planning to do so in near future with complex graphics such as movie editing or gaming, then HP Spectre 360 may be not the right machine for you. Please like the video and let me know in the comment section below if this review was useful for you. Besides, subscribe to the channel to stay updated.